What is going on guys, Infinite Oni here, bringing you my Fallout 4 build, The Black Widow. The Black Widow is a common name for a woman who exploits men to her advantage, often to the point of exhaustion. It's derived from the mating behavior of Lactrodectus hesferus, where the Black Widow female will often eat the male after copulation, unless it manages to escape. This build is not inspired or based around the Marvel Comics character. Going into the Commonwealth, you'll have 3 Strength, 3 Perception, 4 Endurance, 5 Charisma, 4 Intelligence, 4 Agility, and 5 Luck. The special book in Sanctuary will be put into Charisma. With a 6 in Charisma and some clothing, you'll have a 10 in Charisma early on no problem. The base Charisma will eventually get raised to 10, so no need to worry. Now we're going to get into the build's perks. Medic is a favorite of mine. This will allow our stem packs to heal 20% more health and right away to remove 20% more radiation damage each rank. Armor is strictly for Ballistic Weave. This woman is going to be wearing either a red dress or a sequin dress equipped with it. Irma's dress from Good Neighbor is a good choice as well if you can get your hands on it. Agatha's dress is a great choice. You get that as a reward for rescuing Rex Goodman over at Trinity Tower. It has a 3 in Charisma instead of 2. A lot of time, the Black Widow will strike her victims out of nowhere, so Sneak is a great perk to take. I also collected the Sneak Bobblehead from Dunwich Borers, and has also uh, collected the Covert Operations magazines throughout the Commonwealth. The primary weapon for this build is the Deliverer, so Gunslinger is our primary combat perk. Gunnut is used to upgrade our pistols. We're only taking 3 ranks because the highest requirement for the Deliverer is the 3rd rank. You can buy some mods from Tinker Tom, but I'm not sure if you can get the highest level mods. Now of course, we can't have a Black Widow build without the Black Widow perk now, can't we? It's the namesake of the build. We'll do a maximum increase of damage to 15% to men. They'll be easier to succeed in speech checks and even easier to pacify with the Intimidation perk. I also recommend the Live and Love Beware the Manhandler magazine located at the top of the tower over at Bunker Hill. You'll gain plus 25% experience every time you get a successful speech check with men. This woman is also a criminal, so Locksmith is another good choice. She has broken into many houses in the past and killed several men. She's also hacked computers as well and ruined their lives. She'll be able to pick any lock and hack any terminal and will only need 3 ranks of each perk. She was also a drug addict and got to the point where she was resistant from withdrawals. This is where Kim Resistant comes in. She'll have complete immunity to Kim Addiction, and she has fallen in love with Jet. Eventually, you'll invest 3 more points in Charisma and also grab the Charisma Bobblehead, making your base Charisma 10. You'll need this to take the Intimidation perk. You'll basically be able to bend the will of people, especially men, incite them to attack, and give them specific commands. Now, Party Girl is where it's at. You'll no longer be addicted to alcohol and at the third rank, gain plus three luck for each different alcoholic beverage. The higher our luck, the faster our critical meter fills up. That brings us to our next two perks. First of all, you'll need to have the luck bobblehead over at Spectacle Island to be able to take better criticals. This will allow our criticals to deal even more damage. You'll then take another point of luck to take Critical Banker. This will allow us to store up to a total of five criticals when maxed out. Combine these with Party Girl's effect, and you'll be filling up your critical meters without even a sweat. Now allow me to show some demonstrations of combat for this build. So there are multiple ways of doing combat in this uh, particular build. So for one example, I'm going to drink as much alcohol as I can to um, utilize the Party Girl perk. For each different alcoholic beverage I drink, I gain plus three luck. So my critical meter is going to fill up fairly quickly. Now I'm also going to use medics and a mysterious serum and some psycho and let's see drink some rum, vodka, whiskey, and wine. Now that should put our luck to a 63 so let's just go ahead and uh, fill up our uh, criticals. Now you see how fast that just went? That went pretty darn quick. Alrighty, so that is one example. Alright, so in this next example I'm gonna fight a mythic deathclaw that's higher level than I am on very hard. Using nothing but jet and a deliverer. So basically, 
I'm going to use jet, rapid fire with the deliver, hit it, back off, rinse and repeat. So here goes. Oh, let's get out of sneak mode here. Use jet. Reload, kind of go away just for a little bit. I'm also using Psycho, by the way, so my damage is slightly increased. Now, kind of get away from it and reload. After the jet wears off, use it again. Basically, you're going to play Ring Around the Rosie with this thing. Yeah, just rinse and repeat. Jet, rapid fire, jet, rapid fire. Now. And just like that, we killed a mythic Deathclaw without even a scratch. It's all about tactics. But yeah, that's another way you can utilize this build. And in fact, I love it. Uh, she is totally eject at it. And uh, it, it suits her playstyle um, very, very well. Alrighty, so here are the main weapons for the build. I have given her the Deliverer as her primary weapon of choice, which does an improved VATS hit chance and 25% less action point cost. Now I'm going to show you all the mods that I have given it. So you've given it the Advanced Receiver, which gives exceptional damage, more sensitive trigger, and a better rate of fire, and it requires Rank 3 and Gun Nut. Alright, so I've given it the Extended Barrel, which makes its range 134, compared to 80, so that is a 54 point uh, difference there, which is pretty awesome. Has the Sharpshooter's Grip for better recoil and hip fire accuracy. Has a large quick eject mag for both superior ammo capacity and improved reload speed. Has the glow sights, which is the only other option here. Improved focus and better sighted accuracy. And the suppressor, which um, silences the weapon. Exceptional per shot recoil, improved recoil control, and poor range, unfortunately. And the sidearm, or melee weapon that I'm carrying, is the throat slicer which targets bleed for 25 points of additional damage. So it is basically Pikmin's blade, but a lot better. So that is it for weapons. And now let us go over to the armor. As far as armor goes, it's pretty simple. We're just going to be wearing a dress. So you can choose either the red dress or uh, a sequin dress. But in this particular case, I have picked Agatha's dress, which you get from Rex Goodman after rescuing him from Trinity Tower as a female character. It has a 3 in Charisma instead of 2, and I have given it a Ballistic Weave Mark 5. So I've sided with the Railroad until basically I got this. So that will give you a grand total of 110 um, damage and energy resistance. And uh, I got a mod here that allows me to buy wigs, like called Vanilla Wigs, which you can buy from a vendor across from the Red Rocket named Wilma. So I just went over there and bought a Miss Noir wig and renamed it January's wig. And uh, it's able to have ballistic weave, which is pretty darn hilarious. So I did that. That way she didn't, you know, have to wear a hat or anything. I mean, she is, but she's not. So it's part of the illusion per se. Now, if you're not using any mods at all or just don't want to, uh, you can get the battered fedora and add ballistic weave mark 5 to that so and as far as my pit boy goes i gave it the onyx paint job from the creation club i figured that would be a good fit for a uh, black widow character which gives it the midnight black paint job so that is it as far as the gear and now we get into the character's backstory the Black Widow was born and raised in Boston by a very loving family. However, she was a wild child, so she went out partying, did drugs, drank alcohol, and had lots of sex with different men. This brought her to her profession of prostitution. However, one of her clients decided to do a little shoplifting, and that really upset her. Upset her to the point where she broke in his house and killed him. She decided that day that all men on this planet should die. 
So she would use her profession to lure men to her apartment, have sex with them, and then kill them afterwards. Now, she met a man named Nate later on who was in the military, and uh, he seemed pretty nice, so she stuck with him for a while, and he knocked her up in the Boston Commons. So that complicated things for her, so she had a plan like, okay, I'm going to wait until Sean is born, give it a little bit, and uh, then put a life insurance policy on Nate. So I'm going to kill Nate, collect the money, and put Sean up for adoption. Well, there was a problem with that. The day she was going to do all that, that's when the bombs fell. So everything went crazy, they went to the vault, and got cryogenically frozen. Right? So, she eventually wakes up and she sees this whole ordeal with Kellogg and the Institute scientists coming down into Vault 111. And she's where Kellogg killed Nate and kidnapped Sean. Now, the Black Widow upset was upset because Kellogg killed Nate for her. She did not appreciate someone stealing her kill. So she went out to find Kellogg after she was released, mainly to get revenge for that reason. And she was curious about Sean, so she wanted to go ahead and see exactly how he was and where he was at. I hope y'all did enjoy that backstory. As always folks, I thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or comments about the build, please be sure to hit me up on Twitter at Infinite Oni, or you can just hit me in the comment section and I will get to you as soon as I can. I playtest all my character builds on Twitch at uh, twitch.tv slash Infinite Oni and the O is a zero. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care now and bye bye then.